Now, where are these Nazis coming from? Just like randomly, there's just like a new Nazi like on the field. I'm getting hit. Oh, there's another one. Oh God, there's more. Where are these? Oh wait, those guys are on my side. I don't even know, man. Oh God, rockets are firing. Wait, was that at me or to help me? Stop firing rockets, even if you're trying to help me, it scares me. What's my mission anyway? Destroy aircraft. Oh, I'm not doing that at all. Okay, one down. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Medal of Honor Allied Assault. This is an early 2000s game, um, back in the day when everyone was obsessed with World War II. I mean, it comes and goes in phases. World War II is a very fascinating period of history. I mean, it feels like a movie, but it really happened. Um, but, you know, like Saving Private Ryan was out. I don't know if Band of Brothers is out just yet, but there was a time when, like, every first-person shooter, it felt like, was being World War II themed. And this game was around that era, I believe. Now, the book describes this as sort of like Half-Life um, in that it is a first-person shooter that took a very cinematic perspective. And, like, these days, I think it's easy to take that kind of stuff for granted, but, like, remember the first-person shooters that, that started the genre, like Doom. Doom almost is devoid of story, you know? And, like, Wolfenstein 3D. Like, they're good games. Uh, and Quake and stuff like that, but they're not story-based. Like, Half-Life really did change the game and, like, integrated the gameplay into the story in a way that we had never seen. And now pretty much everyone does it. But back in the day, it was pretty interesting and pretty novel when it happened, and so this is the World War II version of that. Um, before we do jump in, though, I will say one other thing is I thought we had played a Medal of Honor game on this channel already, and I looked back, and we hadn't. This is the only Medal of Honor game I think that's in the book. And then I realized I was confusing it with, like, Call of Duty or one of the other World War II shooters. So, again, there's so many World War II-based first-person shooters out there, I can't even keep them all straight. <laughs> but today... We're going to be looking at Medal of Honor. So we, we had that little opening cinematic there of D-Day. Everyone running off the boats, getting machine gunned down. God. You know, again, it, it feels like a movie, but it was real life. Like, it's insane to think about. Anyway, um, I guess we do have to go through basic training. So let's just go ahead and hop in here. Um, all right. So I'm supposed to pay attention. I should probably turn the volume up so I can actually hear the guy. Uh, I'm going to assume that I'm supposed to be walking over this way. Use your mouse to look at each of the four guard towers. <laughs> That's my objective. Look in four directions. Wow, the military is really recruiting the cream of the crop. Isn't it? Alright, we have looked. Is the next mission to go into the tent and have a nap? Press W to move forwards. Hey, I figured that one out already, Chief. S to move backwards. How about A and D? Whoa! <laughs> It's funny when, like, you know, sometimes when we play games, I'm kind of like, man, I wish they had a, the, the integrated little tutorial so, like, we knew what we were doing. Because I'm notorious for not reading instructions. Um, but then, on the flip side, you can sort of baby step things a little too much for people. Like, to tell them W, A, S, and D separately for a first-person shooter, I don't know. Again, maybe it's just ingrained to me because I've played so many, but like I'm not surprised by that control scheme at all. Um, Alright, here's my objectives. Approach the tower indicated by the arrow in the compass. Ah, here we go. We are approaching the tower, Captain. Alright, get over the wall to the north. Alright, he's going to tell me how to jump, isn't he? Do we get guns in the army, or is it mostly sort of about looking at the right towers and jumps? Um, am I ducked? Wait, left control to the... Oh. I guess I was pressing shift, but that just makes you move slower. Alright, we're going through the real boot camp here. Going under tripwire. You know, doing like physical activities here. I feel like we need a bully. Who, like, thinks we're not going to cut it in the army. You know, give us the real army experience here. Give us somebody who's, like, harassing us because we're not from Nebraska. They don't like the cut of our jib. 
but then like we slowly earn their uh you know earn their respect over the course of training and then they become like our best friend during the war something like that we need some more backstory here this tutorial is just all business you know all right find the explosives am i supposed to blow up a tank or something Plant the explosives. I am supposed to blow up the tank. Yo, are we? Wouldn't it be better to bring this thing to war? It just me, but you know, <laughs> for our basic training exercise, are we blowing up one tank per soldier? Because this seems like a terribly inefficient way to run an army. Just saying. And now we just wait it out. Kaboom! There goes a the tank. Um, press E to open doors. Oh, some doors are locked, though. They tricked you. Tricked me. Okay, first aid, bullets, guns. Oh, finally a gun. All right. Boom. All bullseyes. Can we aim down sights. I guess that was before this game's time. Press the secondary attack key. Secondary attack. Pistol whip. Not a pistol whip, guys. And reload. There's planes fire flying fire. around. Try a of shots on that with your I feel like uh, I'm well ahead of you, Captain. Go to the next room, then press the... I'm gonna be, have wasted all my ammo. Is there more ammo to get? Ah, right, here we go. Alright, let's just take some ammo before we leave. All right, now what? Go to the next room and pick up the Thompson. Oh, ooh, we get a machine gun. Uh, and we need Thompson ammo. Um, the here we go. Gun by pressing the SMG key. Yeah, all right, once we actually do get to the beach, I think this is gonna be pretty fun. Always reload your weapons before going into combat. Shoot that target. So it's very common in video games to like, if you don't have a full clip, reload your clip, but how does it work in actual, like, combat? Like, you do want a reloaded clip, but it's like if your clip only has half the bullets, like, would you actually reload? I've always wondered that. Because like in video games it doesn't matter, obviously, but uh, in real life you only have four or five clips. I feel like you would use up each clip before you swap it out, and maybe if you were down to like two or three bullets you'd swap out a clip early, but I couldn't imagine you before every single, you know, every turn you're doing on, like, Omaha Beach, you're just dumping your, your clip into it next one. You have to have, like, 50 clips or something. Um, alright. Here's our sniper rifle. We have to hit the red dot three times. One! Two! Three! Go to the next room and get some grenades. Can we snipe anything else out here? He's oh, they are explosive! I was gonna say! I was gonna shoot them and make some comment about how, oh, they're just normal barrels, but no, they put explosive barrels on the track! They're not even explosive barrels, they're just boxes of TNT or something. That is, uh, poorly planned out, let me tell you. Um, alright, let's grab some, some nades. And the grenade key. You can just use the mouse wheel to, like, switch between weapons. There we go. There we go. Long toss. Short toss. Oh, that is a real short toss. Ah, uh, bank shots. Oh, we're supposed to, like, throw these and get them to, like, go into the boxes. I get you. Okay, hold on. Surprisingly, I'm actually really bad at the grenades. I don't know how surprising that actually is, but... Go in! Alright, one in. Go in! I think that one went in, too. Well, let's get all these grenades. What's the grenade button? Five? Here we go. Grenade! Nope. Further. Grenade! Oh, too far. Grenade! Seriously? Get in there. Can't get it to go in. Huh. Well, can I be done? No, I can't. Okay. Let's see here. Throw it. 
Okay, we have to like hold it. So it lasts a little longer. Get in there! Alright, we did it, I think. Woo! Grenades are actually a little tricky. Approach the MG42 stationary machine. Oh yes! There's your target, Captain. Did you want me to hit the red dots? Because I can't even see it anymore. Oh yeah! There we go. <laughs> I don't know what's in the next room, but we cleared it away. Like there's literally nothing to even shoot at. Uh, press E to exit the firing range. Alright. I like how I'm, like, leaving basic training, I have, like, a grenade in hand to go see the captain. Nothing's- nothing dangerous about this, uh, just a new recruit walking around with a grenade, holding it up at, like, eye level at everyone he looks at. Um, alright, anyway, we passed basic training. I think because they realized they created a monster and they were too afraid to tell him, uh, not to fight. We're gonna hop in here, though, on easy. And we're gonna go lighting the torch. ...from the Office of Strategic Services, the OSS. Our branch specializes in covert operations, usually deep behind enemy lines. Espionage, sabotage, infiltration. That's the business we're in, Lieutenant. As you know, Germany's famed Africa Corps has captured key locations along the southern coast of the Mediterranean and is now digging in. Our response, in coordination with our British allies, is an invasion of North Africa. The attack is codenamed Operation Torch. This is it, Lieutenant. Our first large-scale offensive of the war. While everything you hear in this room is classified top secret. Huh. Is this actually historically accurate? I don't know if I knew they invaded Africa before Europe. Although I guess it does make sense. I always forget the Nazis made it into, uh, Africa and, like, Egypt and all that stuff. I mean, I guess I shouldn't, because in Indiana Jones, they're clearly in, uh, in Egypt, but... His mission was yeah, I don't know. I, I just never think of Africa, but yeah, they totally were in there. The invasion. Yesterday, however, all contact with that agent was lost. The enemy's artillery positions remain intact, and the SAS officer's capture could compromise the entire operation. You and a small squad of your fellow rangers will infiltrate our zoo under cover of darkness. Your goal is to destroy the coastal batteries and rescue the captured agent. You'll receive specific details of the mission once you're in the field. The SAS operative is Major Jack Grillo, a man I've known for years. He would never allow himself to give up what he knows to the Germans. All right, hope. enough said. I, I get the gist of what we're doing here. Let's let's hop into battle. Ah, oh, we're being smuggled in. Oh, look at this! Look how bad the textures and stuff are these days. Pretty hilarious. Uh, it does sort of have a Half-Life-esque feel to it, though. Uh, I mean, and you know what? I have long said that, like, pretty graphics don't a good game make, so, like, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not turned off by the, the graphical detail or anything. Um, I'm just here looking for some good gameplay. And the gun mechanics and the training seem reasonable enough, so I'm excited to try this. I like sort of the palm trees and, like, the Nazi symbol there. It's very, like, uh... Uh, World War II-ish, but... He's taking too long. Very interesting that the Nazis were in Africa. What were they trying to do, those... ...crazy evil Nazis? I mean, they were committing genocide, let's not kid ourselves. Um... Oh, damn! That's what you get, Nazi, you Nazi pig! Let's kill some Nazis, guys! There's two enemies, there's two humans in any video game that you are allowed to kill. Zombies and Nazis. And let me tell you, I don't have any qualms about killing Nazis. I don't condone murder, unless it's a Nazi. I'm probably gonna get demonetized for that. <laughs> uh, Private Allen has been killed in action! Wait, somebody just died? I haven't even seen an enemy. There we go. Oh, did I do that? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. That was pretty fun, actually. Alright, any more you scumbag Nazis want it? Oh yeah, eat it! This is like Wolfenstein 3D, only like, you know, way more advanced. How do I, how do I aim down sights? Use your compass to guide you to your next objective. Okay, hold on. Time out. Everybody time out here! 
Can we hold on, hold the war for a second? I want to check my controls. Hey, what are all these? Why are these things off? I have a good computer. Especially uh, considering uh, this game was meant for like 2002. Let's turn this on to like crisis level detail. Highest. I think this game actually used id tech 3. Which was, hold on, I have it here. The id Tech 3 engine was the Quake 3 engine. That was kind of interesting. Famously, Half-Life, which this game is compared to uh, in the book, was based on um, the Quake 1 engine, actually. A heavily modified Quake 1. Anyway, all right. Primary attack, action, secondary attack. Burn, center view, strafe, look up, look down, reload weapon, holster weapon. Why would I ever want to do that? Paper slash binoculars. Quick save. Oh, quick save is actually, we should, F5, we should remember that. Um, DM messages. You can't aim down sights, eh? That's shocking. All right. Well, whatever. It feels weird to play a game where you can't aim down sights these days, but... uh. Wait, what happened? Back to game. Let's quick save our game. Now let's go off. To more adventures. Alright, I'm just following you guys. Hope you guys know where we're going. Oh, there's some Nazis. I got one, guys! Oh, I think I might have... Oh. You Nazi scumbags. I hope these guys are Nazis. Otherwise, we're in a lot of trouble, guys. <laughs> we do. We're massacring a whole village here. I hope these guys are bad guys. Oh, damn. Oh, do I have a pistol or something? Oh god, I shouldn't shouldn't try and find it while I'm in the middle of uh staring down an enemy right in the face. Okay, what weapons do we have? We have grenades, rifles. Okay, I guess I'll keep the rifle equipped, because that's what these guys seem to have. An objective has been completed. Check the door. I think we check the door. Next. Ambush! Oh god, where are they coming from? Oh god! Oh, there they are! Oh, we need, uh, grenades! Grenade! Oh, come on, blow up, grenade! Throw a grenade at this guy, too. Oh god, the grenade fell on the ground, guys! I think. Oh no, that was the guy's helmet. And I feel like I am not contributing to the team here. I'm like letting letting my side of the war down. Oh god, what's happening? They just keep coming over the rooftops? Oh, they do. Whoa, that guy did a somersault on the way down. He was like, I prepared my whole life to die awesomely. And now I finally get to. Um, we we have to climb out of the way, Nazi. What is that guy doing? He's like stare. Oh, is this one of my guys? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oops. That, that was actually a good guy. Okay, I gotta stop shooting my allies. That is not what uh, being in World War II was about. Yeah, die. Man, they all do somersaults when they die. It's like part of Nazi basic training. It's like, we might be Nazis, but we got style. When they kill you, give them a bit of a show. I've got you covered. Move. Okay, Private Thomas has been killed in action. Captain Richards has been killed in action. Bad things are happening all around. Um, oh! Eat it, Nazi scumbag. Damn it, why why does my gun always need to be reloaded? I need to reload more. Oh, it's a bad guy. I can't tell! Is anyone on my team left alive? I guess I should just start shooting everyone. I don't think anyone on my side made it. Hey, but we passed the level. Objective completed. Alright, that first mission is pretty easy. Let's see what the next mission has to do. I, I totally skipped that. Uh, there's like a whole, like, di uh, you know, paper thing telling me what my mission was and stuff. I skipped all of that. Can we kill these guys? It's like hard to shoot through the bars, but there we go. All right. See you later, scumbags. Can we 
shoot this? Oh, we're supposed to go through here, I see. Press use to open doors. If you can't open the door, they will be able to hear the handle rattle. That's cool. Oh, God. Who did that? Wait, what? Is there a guy over there? I wish I could aim down sights and see. Hello? Let me see, where's that come? Was there- was that a guy? I'm gonna- Oh, there's a captain's game here! I was gonna say I'm gonna stay in the buildings and avoid all the Nazis. Alright. And I'm pressing reload. And it is not reloading. Huh. I think my gun is the kind of gun that, like, you can't reload. Oddly enough. Oh god, ow. Die, scumbag! Like, when you only have a couple bullets left, you might as well just fire and, uh... Unload the clip. Oh shoot, that's the guy we're supposed to save. Hey, buddy. They would have killed me for certain. Stick close what, to me. What's he doing? He put his hand up in a weird way. Sorry about that bullet wound in your back, bud. Ah, uh, wait, where'd you go? There he is. Wait for me! You're taking- you're- you're stealing all the fun, man. Oh, he took a bullet right to the face. Oh, there's a dude, like, right there. It's like... Sometimes there are Nazis hiding in the shadows and you can't even see them. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a guy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. God damn it. Die, Hans! Anyone else want some? Oh, God! Okay, that came from... There? That's my guy. You know what? I want a traditional radar. This World War II compass era stuff just isn't cutting it. Ooh, health back though. This guy seems to know what's up, so I'm just gonna follow him. The documents and explosives I had were confiscated. We've got to recover them, or this mission is lost. All right. They're probably in the commandant's office. You lead the way, bud. I will follow you to the end of the earth. Yes. Pump them full of bullets! They're gonna be like, why did they kill this one guy so hard? They, they wasted 32 bullets on his tattered corpse. I don't understand, was there like a personal connection there? Nope, it's just random. Trying to confuse the Germans. That guy sucked. What a machine gun too, man. Where'd you get that machine gun? Oh my god, I have one! Oh, hello, hello. What was that, a tank or something? Um, okay. Shooting the spotlights will get their attention. It's best to just avoid Shooting the spotlights. Oh, those spotlights? They're like a thousand miles away? Wow, my gun is crazy range. Alright. Done. Wait, Max Grillo has been killed. I failed the mission. <laughs> Wait, what? Yo, that's on Max Grillo, man. Shooting the spotlights will get their attention. It's best to just avoid. Okay, I'm just gonna walk up this time because there were Nazis shooting at us from so far away. I couldn't even see where they were. Like this dick right here. Game saved. I do like that the game is like auto saving as we go. I do really appreciate that. Oh god, what is happening? What is happening? Who's doing that? Oh god. Okay, this mission. Okay, we failed once because Max Grillo got killed. Now I see why he died. What the hell was all that? Dear god. Can I get up there? I guess I can't. I'm like in a bunker. I don't even know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm doing it. Shut up, Nazi! There's a Nazi over there, too. Kill you two. Anyone wearing tan is a Nazi. And I've just about had it with them. I think Grillo's about to die, man. Where'd that guy go? Yeah, killed in action. Hmm. 
Let's check our objectives here. What are we missing? Steal explosives from the fortress. Follow the SAS agent. There's a guy in there, I'm pretty sure. I can barely see him. Eh. Anyone else up here? Anyone else want to die? And this time I don't really see anyone. Hey, Grillo. Roll, dude. Roll, man. Quick save. I'm just gonna go in this way and see if we can find these explosives we're supposed to get because the gorilla guy is not moving Die Guy over here too for some reason this game reminds me a little bit of uh, Goldeneye on the N64 I think cuz it's just like an older school Shooter wait They're riddling him with bullets who's shooting? Some jerk over there, okay Seriously, where the hell are these guys? Oh, there he is. Alright. Gorilla, this time maybe you can survive. Huzzah! There's a guy over here too. There we go. Um, now... Let's go. Oh, I thought I could like climb up there. I guess not. Oh, here we go. Stairs. Oh, there's a Nazi. Hey, you're on patrol, eh? You're bad at it. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Oh, God. Um. Oh, my God. He's getting away. Oh, I holstered my weapon. Okay, there we go. All right. Turns out I'm bad at ambushes. He's bad at patrols. It all comes out in the wash. Get out of here. Ooh. Oh, look, they're... Hey. Is that an American guy that you're punching? Not on my watch, buddy. I think I pistol whipped him. Get out of here. Ooh, a sniper rifle. You saved my life, sir. Hey, man, I wanted that gun. Too bad it's not like Halo, where you can forcibly uh, trade guns with your allies. That was always a, a fun feature of Halo, I thought. Like, if you had Marines or whatever joining you on a team, they would have guns and you could look at their guns and be like, Ooh, I want that sniper rifle. And you could swap weapons with anyone on uh, your side. They would be forced to trade with you. So you could, like, give them a pistol for a sniper rifle. Or you could go the other route and you could, like, give them rocket launchers and stuff and try and equip them with really heavy weaponry. I usually actually like doing that because, frankly, I can take care of myself. I don't need a powerful gun to kill enemies, but it's nice having a bunch of AI allies who have who are like, you know, armed to the teeth with like crazy weapons. That always made the mission fun. Um, let's quick save this. And deal the explosives. The explosives, I'm just following the radar literally. I think they're in here somewhere. Maybe they're on the upper floor actually. Got five grenades. That's something. Um, alright. Well. You know what, also? Okay. I was gonna say, like, I was trying to pistol whip these guys with the rifle, but the secondary fire does nothing with the machine guns. So it's like you're only allowed to pistol whip, whip people with a pistol? It doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't you hit them with the butt of your gun, like if you had a rifle? Hello, oh, let me in. Um, I literally have nowhere, no idea where to go. I'm actually confused. I'm supposed to get explosives. I'm supposed to follow my radar. That so we're following it. Tells me to go this way. Getting closer, 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 closer. Let's just go back. Okay, maybe it's out here? So in here we want to go. Right in here? Where are these- where are these GD explosives? Oh, maybe they're downstairs. I didn't even see that there was a downstairs. Okay. 
That makes sense. Oh, that's my guy. Sorry, buddy. Oh, look, he cleared up this whole room all by himself. I see. Sorry about that. All right, explosives. I got it. I just totally missed him. My guy, my guy, my guy ran into the base, killed everyone without me. Man, he, he's a real, he's the real hero on this mission. Look, there's even a Nazi record player that is immune to bullets. Okay, we have the explosives. Use the explosives to escape. Yes, sir. Let's do this. What are we blowing up, man? You lead the way. You show me, man. Whatever you want to blow up, we'll take care of. Oh, the main gate over here. I get it. I was like, I wonder what we're going to be exploding. The main gate. Or this gate, I guess. Blink. We don't want to go through this gate, too? Guess not. The music in this game, too, actually kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Indiana Jones or Star Wars. Like, it has that, uh... Um... Oh, God, what's the name of the guy who composes? Uh, John Williams. It has sort of that John Williams kind of mystery but adventure feel to it. Private juror. Wait, what? What the heck? Somebody just opened a door and like stabbed him in the shin and killed him. Literally no one even in- there's nothing in this building. There's just a guy. Dude, I'm sorry. Can I have your gun now? Um, oh, I should be keeping up. My- my- the main guy has like totally like carried on without me. He's sick of my dilly-dallying. He's like, get your crap together, Jay. <laughs> Private Jay. Ow. Oh, he placed one, too. Die, Nazis. Anyone else? Meet Grillo by the gates. Oh, God, that was another Nazi. Just falling out of the sky. All right, dude, we did it. An exfiltrate. Oh, look, he's injured. He's limping. The Africa Corps motor pool is up ahead. Use the rest of the explosives and sabotage as much as you can. All right, dude, let's do it. I'll get some transportation for us. Yeah, you should. Good luck, no, don't you. follow me. You'll probably get killed. All right, we did it. We got a little lost there for a bit. Didn't realize there was a basement in the base. You've kept the Germans from obtaining vital secrets. Meanwhile, you have to take care of two things. Keep the Germans from pursuing and disrupt troop mobility. I'm just gonna go in and shoot everything I can find, Captain. How about that? Oh God, I'm bad at my job. Really bad of aim of a stormtrooper. Not the good German kind, the uh, bad emperor kind. Boom. I hit the guy. Oh God. What about this? Oh, the Germans don't have explosive barrels. <laughs> what am I doing, man? Screwing this up already. Look, this guy's like, this guy has like crazy moves. I can't hit him. How do they train this Nazi super soldier? He's like just a lowly mechanic. Uh, all right, we want machine gun, I think. Oh, health. Yeah, we definitely want that too. You're a worthy opponent, sir. Anyone else in here? Wait, what am I supposed to be sabotaging? This truck. Oh, I cut the brake line. <laughs> That's gonna be exciting. Look, another mechanic. These guys are deadly. Let's not give him a chance. Cut the brake line. All right. I hope we get it like a cinematic where they're all like driving around on like cliffs and they can't stop and they all just go flying over and explode. I think the game owes us that. Spending way too much bullets on each enemy here. Oh god. Still alive. Oh god. I need to reload. There we go. More brake lines. Snip. It's actually really fun. I like snipping those brake lines. Um, next, bomb the munitions cache. 
can do. I have one for bombing. Oh my god, it's a tank. I guess they actually drive their tanks here. They don't use them for uh, training purposes. But we'll rig that one up to blow. Three remaining. I wonder if I can actually get behind that tank. Hey, you should have stayed in the tank, buddy. Uh oh, he might go back in. There we go. Break that up. Oh, we're totally getting some kind of cinematic where, like, the trucks are driving off cliffs, the tanks are exploding. Are you still alive? <laughs> he was, like, contemplating his life choices as he waited for me to come kill him. Maybe he thought I wouldn't kill him. There we go. What do we got here? I guess we'll blow up. Whatever that is. Munitions cache. Need to find two more tanks. Also, I don't know where to go. I like the fact that we do have a radar telling us. In older first-person shooter games, like, I feel like you were just left to your own devices, and if you got lost, you were just screwed. Like, the invention of, like, radar and, you know, waypoints and directions for the player, I think was, like sort of a, a small but necessary and huge quality of life invention for first-person shooters. Like, I remember in Doom, you play, playing Doom, like, just getting totally lost. Oh, God. Um, ow. Oh, there we go. Just getting totally lost and backtracking and not knowing where to go in a level and stuff, but... It's a lot harder to get lost in modern first-person shooters, I find. Oh, God. Not that it's like, you know, there isn't something nice about having to explore for yourself. You know, like, not that the waypoints and stuff should always tell you exactly where to go, but... Um, yeah. Things were different back in the early days of gaming. There we go. Next. Exfiltrate. We're good at that. Boom! We're we blowing up all the tanks. How do we get out of here is the question. Oh god. Oh god, they see us. Oh god. Get a pistol! Ice these mofos! Oh god, they're gonna kill us. I am not in cover either. Pistol whip them! Stop reloading and pistol whip! Run into the building! You know what we need is like Hellboy. We need all the great, uh, fictional people who fought Nazis. We need, like, Indiana Jones, Hellboy... Um, who else fights the Nazis? I don't know. Whoever, everyone else that we can think of needs to come and help us. Oh, these guys with, like, their gas masks and stuff actually do look more like, uh, Hellboy Nazis than, uh, Indiana Jones Nazis to me. It's interesting, actually, like, the Nazis... Uh, and both of those uh, properties are portrayed as being very interested in the supernatural. But in Indiana Jones, it's like the supernatural kind of exists, but it's a very light touch. Like, you usually only see it, like, maybe uh, subtly at the end of the movie, or maybe obviously at the end of the movie when everybody's face melts off. Uh, when they try and call God, and uh, they get God's answering machine. But, um... In Hellboy, it's like full-on supernatural. Like, there's, there's no, uh... You know, there's no question about it. Like, Hellboy is literally a demon. You know, in the first Hellboy, one of the Nazis, like, winds up like a clock. Um, it's actually... He's a really awesome bad guy, actually. Um, oh god. Um, I think in the second one... I actually have not seen the second Hellboy, but I really need to get around to it. But I know there's, like, a guy who's, like, literally a ghost in a, uh, in, like, a suit. And he can be taken out of his suit if he wants, like... It's actually kind of a crazy idea, but he's a German, but he's not a Nazi. He's actually a good guy. Oh, I was about to shoot this guy. Oh yeah, two missions down. We're causing havoc in Egypt, guys. Alright, maybe this will be the last mission we do here today. Getting a good feel for how this game operates, but it... It basically is sort of like... Uh, Half-Life... 
like, if we put it in context historically, like, compare this to something like Doom, which, you know, had come, admittedly, like, ten years before, but still, you know, like, the early first-person shooters were just, like, just about shooting. And what Half-Life, I think, showed is that you could make things way more dynamic and interesting. Um, and, you know, then games like this came out. Um, and then it, like, paved the way for, like, you know, just different kinds of first-person shooter experiences, like Halo and Call of Duty and everything that we play now today. I feel like first-person shooters have matured so much as a genre. Um... And I mean, I guess it's the same trajectory for every game. I mean, like, Super Mario Brothers wasn't the first platformer ever created. Um, so you can go back and look at the earliest platformers, and they're rough, and they really just have the platforming mechanic, but Mario took platforming and changed it from just sort of a generic mechanic into, like, a uh, very... Like, like, Mario's almost a game about parkour. You know, it's about precision and planning and strategy and fun and skill and split-second decisions. You know, the earliest platformers, it was just literally about, like, jumping over a turtle. Or whatever it was, I don't know. I think the earliest platformers I can think of are, like, Manic Miner and stuff like that. They, those ones had mechanics where, like, if you jumped off a platform too high, you'd die. They had fall damage in a platformer. <laughs> I think it was right of Mario to get rid of that. Um, but, you know, nobody had ever made a platformer before. People didn't know. They're like, should you die if you fall from a height too high? I guess you should. This is a fun vehicle level. Oh, we beat the we beat the level. Well, that was pretty easy. Oh no, we we have uh, more of this stage. Well, anyway, I think I'm gonna start wrapping up my thoughts here. I mean, like, I I get the feel for what we're going going for in this one here. So, Medal of Honor. Uh, Allied Assault, one of the games of the book, a thousand video games you just play before you die. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, honestly, I think that this is, like, a solid game that does hold up, um, in terms of, like, the shooting and stuff all feels fairly solid. The missions are, like, actually kind of interesting. I mean, certainly if, if you play a more modern first-person shooter, you're gonna get far more complex missions and stuff like that. But it's not that the game isn't playable. I will say, though, that, like, some of the controls, although they do hold up fairly well, like, things like not having aim down sights does make the game feel a little old. Because it's like, nowadays I'm just so accustomed to having aim down sights. Um, but, you know, if you're looking for some good old-fashioned nostalgic Nazi kill in action, um, yeah, I don't know, Medal of Honor. Um, I got this for $2.50 off GOG, so... I think for two- Oh, we just ran him over! Yes! <laughs> Definitely for $2.50. I think this game is worth it. I think normally it's like 10 bucks, so, you know, whoop de do. I think even for 10 bucks, you are looking for a game. If you're jonesing for a World War II style first-person shooter to play, this one might, uh, pique your fancy. So, yeah. Um, I'm curious to hear, though, for you guys who actually played this back in the day, what was this game like when it came out? What are some of the things you loved about it? What are some things you miss about it? Do you still go back and play this game ever? Um, let me know in the comments down below if you have memories about this game that you can share with us. And uh, what do you guys think of this game as well? Uh, nowadays, uh, with the benefit of hindsight. Let me know that, too. As always, whatever you think of the game, hopefully today was interesting and entertaining. And if it was, don't forget to like the video. And other than that, I will catch you in the next one. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And, uh, peace. Mission accomplished. We just had to kill a few more Nazi planes before they were ready to let us go. Oh, God, Nazi. There's your target, Captain.